What's up, everybody? I'm Langston Belton, and I am joined by the cast and director of Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder. What's up, everybody? Well, it is a bit of an understatement to say that we are all very excited for this movie, and we know that it picks up at a very critical moment for these characters. So what can you tell us about your characters at the start of the film? I think my character at the start of the film is, is looking for peace and solitude and <laughs> some, some inner stillness. I think she's seeking answers. His daughter and his religion. I think at the beginning of the film, She's really loves her people, loves Asgard, loves being their leader, but she really is missing the, the feeling of being in battle and that sort of adventure. Ooh, well hopefully everybody finds that spark of adventure. Uh, now, when you were bringing this story to life, uh, what was the most fun direction that you received as actors? And Taika, what was your favorite direction to give? I mean, I guess, yeah, I suppose the most fun kind of part that I do is um, is just when I play music and just get them to kind of like feel their way through the scene with music. He would send me different tracks and I would send him tracks and we enjoyed sort of dancing our own interpretations to each other of how Gore would dance. And that was actually for me the, the, the most fun, but nobody will ever see it. The most fun direction Taika gave me on set was, um, don't do that again, that sucks. Try something different. <laughs> he was asking me to smash things a lot. There was there was a period where Mighty Thor was just smashing everything, and that was, that was pretty fun. All right, everyone, are you ready to bring the thunder? Because it is time for the lightning round. All right, first up, Asgard or new Asgard? I'd say new Asgard, because old Asgard, <laughs> It's gone, it's been destroyed. New Asgard. New Asgard. Asgard. Stormbreaker or Mjolnir? Whoa, it's like choosing between your children, isn't it? It's a tough one. Mjolnir. Yeah, I like Stormbreaker. <laughs> Mjolnir. I feel like Mjolnir's moved on, so I'm gonna stick with Stormbreaker. Korg or Meek? Korg. Korg. Korg's my bro, he's my buddy. He's uh, my BFF. Meek. <laughs> tooth Nasher or Tooth Grinder? <laughs> um, tooth Grinder, because I do a lot of that, you know? especially in my sleep. Ah, <sighs> Tooth Nasher, Silent G wins. <laughs> armor or casual clothes? Oh, God, casual clothes. Let me tell you something about armor. You ever tried fighting in a cape or doing anything in a cape? You trip over it constantly. So casual clothes, hands down. Casual clothes. Casual. Casual clothes, actually. Fighting in casual clothes is more dangerous. Team player or fly solo? Team player. Nah, team player. No, I think Thor enjoys a collaboration, as do I. Takes the pressure off one's self. Team player. Team player. Goats or boats? Goats. Boats. Well, boats don't give you cheese, do they? Infinity stones or infinity cones? The infinity stones cause more trouble than they're worth. I'd say Infinity Cones, delicious. Infinity Cones. <laughs> Infinity Cones. And last but not least, we gotta ask, love or thunder? Love. 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 Oh, well, thank you all for playing along. Uh, and last but not least, I always wanna know, what are you most excited for fans to see in this film? I think we haven't seen a, a romantic comedy set in space in an intergalactic adventure like this. So I can't wait for people to see it. I'm really excited for fans to see Natalie as Mighty Thor. I just think that she's so brilliant in this and, and is such an exciting you know, new addition to the, the MCU in, in terms of being this superhero. And so I'm really excited for fans to see her. I'm most excited for fans to see the unexpected definitions of love that come into the movie. It's not all just romantic love. I think we've raised the bar again, and I'm so, so proud of it and thrilled and excited for, for people to check it out. I'm most excited for fans to see uh, the ticket stub that they're holding when they go and buy a ticket. Nice, well, thank you all so much for joining me. And hey, Taika said it best, Go buy your tickets now and do not miss Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder when it hits theaters July 8th.